Hi guys! So today I will be playing a kind of DLC for To The Moon. If you haven't played To The Moon, you need to. I will put a link in the description below, or you can always look it up on YouTube. There's loads of people that's done Let's Plays. It's basically about two kind of scientists that go back in people's past and change their lives to be how they want them to be just before they die. So it's quite sweet and quite sad, but it's a very lovely game. This is just kind of a holiday special for you to get more insight on the story and yeah, stuff like that. Rotten tomato, I think. That's not very nice. It's very rude, actually. setting a trap. Looks like it. He is! <laughs> oh, he's gonna pour water all over. <laughs> that backfired, didn't it? <laughs> Wait, there's no meaning today. Yeah, and I'm not dumb. Ha! See, girls aren't dumb. Twice in one day, really? Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Besides, that's actually dangerous. What if it hits my head without tipping over? But you still made it hit my head. <laughs> that's different. Yours is pretty thick. Well, I saw what you want. Excuse me for giving you a chance to even the scores. But seriously, drop by. I actually do have something to show you. Just give me a few first. She's not that stupid. You gonna go say hi to them at the party downstairs? Maybe later. Grab me a drink if you go. Party? Oh, this is my office. So if you didn't know, they're kind of like scientists. It's been a while since I played it, I can't remember what they call themselves. Dear diary, today I... Shoot! I can't just leave my diary out like this. Better lock it away before someone sees. Good idea. Let's go in here. Hey, it's not ready yet. Okay. Or at least it's not putting another bucket of water up there. It's always good, sir. So many doctors. Oh look, this one's a- oh, it's a toilet. <laughs> Do you need to go for a little piddle? <laughs> nice ringtone. What? I just remembered, because you also gave me some cake with that drink. <laughs> How did you know there'd be cake? There's always cake. Always cake. Well, pick one. I'm not your waitress. Hey, so which is it? Oh, wait, that was the girl. Hey, so which is it? Oh. Neil? I'm thinking. Look, I gotta go. I'll call you back. Okay. Why did the music go all weird? Oh. Oh, hey, Eva. Roxy? You alright? Huh? Oh, well, we went outside to get something from the car and, well, you know, them again, huh? What are they talking about? Well, it is that time of year. Look, don't tell the others, okay? I don't want everyone to be all tensed up about it. Hmm, maybe it'll all be clear by the time everyone leaves. <clears throat> I hope so. Come on, let's go see what the others are up to. Mm-hmm. 
So it's like inside stuff I don't know what they're talking about. Okie dokie then. Woohoo, this party looks banging. I want some cake. Give me the cake. Presents, cake. Ah. Presents. Presents. Old man. Hey, Willis. Looks like Logan's putting a move on your girl over there. Wait. What? Psh, she ain't going anywhere. <laughs> oh, I don't know, Willis. Logan does sing like an angel. I do? Yeah, Willis. Oh, yeah, Willis. And I heard he's an exquisite dancer, too. I am? Well, I got three strands of hair on my head and each of them is willing to fight for him in the parking lot. <laughs> okay, this is getting too weird for me. <laughs> mm, funny. I'm not really sure what to do here either. Since we have a full house today, Eddie was allowed to drink. But now he won't stop talking. Maybe he just needs someone to listen. Yeah, that's what I fear the most. Oh, poor guy. You are bugs me, Lisa. We can alter memories, yet I can neither make my hair as buoyant as Logan's, nor as silky as yours. Yeah, it's a tragedy. Nice hat! <laughs> Eva, my dear. Good afternoon, Timer. You know, you never responded to that email I sent you about my nephew. I attached a photo of him and everything. Oh no, she tried to get them to date. Uh, thanks. I'm just not looking. Oh. It's that boy Neil, isn't it? What? No! I like to keep my per personal and professional life separate. Wow, then that's just one more reason why my nephew is perfect for you. You two are going to be so happy together. Oh dear. Hey Eva. Hey, how did that last mission go? I heard you guys ran into some complications. It was fine, Bureaucy bureaucracy just got in the way. But I'm trying to forget about work now. There's enough of that to go around later. Simon and I are discussing our taste in early Boro paintings. They're all good! Yes, yes they are. Okay, I don't even know what they are, but I'm just gonna say yes, yes they are. Drink, cake, get some cake. Cake, cake. No, stand in front of the cake. Fine, don't stand in front of the cake. Whatever. Look, I know it's hard not to think about it, but worrying doesn't fix anything. I know, but... What was your last patient's wish? Huh? Oh. Well, she wished to see the world. And did she? Yeah, we took her all over. I even caught glimpses of places that I haven't been to. She was so happy. It sounds like she would have really appreciated what you did for her. Hmm. You've helped a lot of people, Roxy. I'm sure if they could speak to you, they'd all tell you. What's out there right now doesn't change that. I guess so. I do feel better thinking about it. No. I do feel better thinking of that. Thanks, Eva. It's the holidays. Don't let it ruin the mood. What do I do now? Right, so he wants like a drink, but I can't get to the cake, and I can't pick up any drink. Okay, I'll just go back up there. I love the music in these games, it's so cute. So yeah, there's scientists that can alter people's past just before they die, if you didn't know what those conversations were about. Okay, so it's back to that weird noise again. Neil? It's weird, what is he doing? The line's busy. Hmm. Oh dear, this is not good. Maybe he's in the toilet. It's the only other place I can think of going. 
It's the only place I can go. Okay, let's try the doors again. Oh! Good try, but there's no water bucket this time. Is everything okay? You seem distracted. What? Yeah, it's all good. I'm fine. Anyways, I'm just about wrapping this up. I'll call you when it's done, Eva. Okay, back to work. Weird. Where's Neil? In his office. I don't really know what he's up to. As per usual, I see. I don't know what to do. Okay, it's just the old guy. By the way, thanks for covering my double call yesterday, Willis. I heard it went well. Eh, not much. I haven't seen it this point. Blah, blah, blah. I don't think you could use a brick sometime. We've still got some kicks left in our old bones. Besides, some patients prefer us having practitioners with more life experience. Just to be sure, take care, Willis. You've got your limits too. Eva, I have peace of mind knowing that when the day comes, our fate will be in your hands. Aw, oh, don't be so dark. That's not a nice thing to talk about. Oh, who's this? Who's this dude? Hello. Don't go out right now, Eva. I know, Roxy told me. Those persistent buggers. Looks like they're there to stay. Oh yes! Okay, he's ready. Yeah? It's ready, Eva. Come over when you can. I'm coming, I'm coming. Shut the door. Uh, why? Because I'm supposed to be using this computer for work, remember? If Rob saw, he'd be all like, slacking off again, Neil. Durr. <laughs> Why didn't she close the door? She just left it open. What is that? Here, have my seat. He doesn't even care that she didn't actually close it. Oh, whatever. Wait. Remember that? Oh, yes. You need to play the game to remember it. This is like a big part of the first game to the moon. Please tell me you folded it yourself. Lighten up, there are hundreds of them. Besides, it's not like Lily and the kids have any use for them anyhow. And what good is it to you? Jumpstarting your memory for one. Now, launch that program. I don't know if I want to. Oh, come on, I worked hard on it. Okay. What? Ta-da! This is just plainly disrespectful. Hey now, video games are an art form. They passed the laws decades ago. Yeah, but this might make them revoke it. Sticks and stones, Eva. You haven't even played it yet. Go on, try it. Come on, Eva, I want to play it. Is it? It's so weird. <laughs> it's so cool. Okay. What's this? What the bloody hell? Okay. Ooh. <laughs> this is so weird. Oh. Oh no, there's an evil zombie. Yeah, I know, I saw it. Looks familiar? <laughs> oh look, is it all life? Is that a cat? No, it's like a bag or something. Thank you, whatever that is. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> oh god, I suck. Alright, I'm just gonna... I'm dead. Without the A. <gasps> oh 
Yay! Okay. Thank you. <gasps> Shiza. Didn't think they were gonna go that way. Okay. Ah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna go. Ah, I just go. Yeah! I rule! What is that? Grapes. Oh dear. Evil grapes. Okay. Oh no! Oh dear. Oh, it's so fast. Oh my god. <laughs> I have one life left. I wish I could save. I'm so scared. <gasps> Why did I do that? I'm so stupid. Games like this when I was your age. <gasps> Cause I didn't close the door. What the? How cute. Is that floating head character you, Neil? How long have you guys been standing there? Seems like you've been slacking off again. Durr. Man, I told you he'd say that. Get out of my office, guys. This is private space. Shoo, shoo. Eva, this is exactly what happens when you leave the door open. I did I did tell him that the door is still open, he just can't hear me. I might as well go stretch my legs. Just realised you didn't get me a drink. Or cake. She's awful friend. You can keep on playing though. Oh thank you. I think I shall. Okay. Oh no. <coughs> Okay, I'm okay. Okay, I'm okay. Oh my gosh. Three, are you kidding me? Um. Eh. Oh my god. I don't know how I did that. Good, I thought I might have to memorize that. I was like, no. Thank you for the platypus. What the? Don't do that to me. Oh no, boss battle! Uh, I'm not even moving it. Okay, she's just freaking out like, oh no. Oh, she died. She gave up. <laughs> hey, Eva, did you... Oh. Yeah, she left. She got bored. Good idea. And then you were all like, feel my hair, feel it. Man, I'm never drinking more than a shot of beer again. Okay, that's so weird. Psst, Neil. Uh, yes, Roxanne? Are you looking for Eva? Yeah, how'd you know? I just saw her down the hall looking upset. 
Wait, why is that assumed to be my fault? Well, when I look at your face, I get the feeling that you'd piss me off a lot if you were my partner. Oh, thanks. But I mean, that in the nicest way. In what way could that possibly be nice? Never mind. Look, thanks for the info, I'll check upstairs. So I think she's in the toilet. I know she's in the toilet. She must be in the toilet. Oh, look at this. What is this? I haven't seen this before. This is different. Oh, look, there she is. Hey. You didn't finish the game. I've played enough of it. Don't tell me you're upset about the zombievers. You made them yourself, don't you remember? And it was clearly a joke, sheesh. I'd ask when you had become so uptight, but you know. Come over here, Neil. Oh dear, are you gonna punch me? I've been practicing my Kawakian Chown, <laughs> you know. I'm telling you, my hands are like lightning. Even I can't contain my moves. It's a serious time. <laughs> Whoa. The cord show up, huh? Voxes that they've been gathering since morning. That's quite some dedication for no pay. When I signed up for this job, I thought it'd be respectful, fulfilling dreams and all. But those who thank us are dead, and those who support us are the dying. You might not like how I do things, but I do them for this patient's sake. And more often than I'd like, for yours, to save your sorry ass from getting fired. Yeah, good job with that. It's a feat. Do you think they're right? Hmm? All those people out there, they are all standing for what they think is right. Gee, I sure hope not. But hey, everybody has their beliefs. There are a lot of them, but don't forget that there are a lot of people with us too. Remember Lily? They aren't as outspoken because those who are content rarely feel the need to bother. But we have to remember that they're out there and remember each patient we once visited. visited. Remember how hard we tried and how they left this world with a smile in the place of a frown. Sometimes that fleeting moment of shared happiness is all it takes to make it all worthwhile. Are you drunk, Neil? Hey, I'm just recycling Rob's BS here. Give me a break. <laughs> but look, if you're asking me whether what we do matters, I guess it does. For the brief fraction of a second before they pass on. Is that enough for you? Sometimes I don't really know. How about you? Are you really happy doing this? Hey, I'm just happy that we make a lot of dough. Don't know about you, but I'm totally balling. At the grocery, I'm all like, heck yeah, I'll shell out five cents for a plastic bag. Here's a quarter. That's how I roll. You know, that game you made of it, it wasn't all terrible. I'm listening. I mean, the graphics are antique, and the gameplay is a pushover, but uh... I'm surprised you still remember all the Johnny and River stuff. Yeah, sorry about the zombievers. But hey, you shouldn't have... you should have really played it till the end. All the zombievers rally together and become the heroes to save the day. Really? Totally! And they're like fire rags and pom poms as all the Johnnies and Rivers chant your name. Hmm, I guess I should go finish it then. 
Whoa, whoa, let's not be hasty. The game's not going anywhere. You can finish it in a one, no, two weeks. Hello? Thanks for the discount, but we're not looking for premium snow plowing service right now. You should encode your number, that'll block most of the telemarketers. Just kidding, we're actually being drafted by a patient in critical condition. Wait, what? Understood, we'll be right over. Are you serious? Yeah, come on, we can't afford to be late. You can't just joke around about these things. You're serious? Neil! So they're off to help another dying patient fulfill their dreams, their life dreams. So I'm guessing all these people don't like what they do. Aww. That was a lovely little short DLC, if you will. But honestly, if you haven't played To The Moon, you need to play it, or at least watch. It's gotta be like the most emotional game I've played. It's got a brilliant storyline. The concept behind it is just amazing. It's like, how can someone come up with these ideas? I cannot wait for the second one. The second one's gonna be called A Bird Story and it's gonna come out sometime soon. He's still working on it, but that's why he made this little one here, just so we could have something to play. And it was really nice. It kind of helps you understand a little bit more the relationship between the characters, and it's really good. So about my voice over everything. I was actually being a zombie last night, so my voice is kind of gone. Have a lovely day or evening. Bye. <laughs>